Hello guys, JT Gravity RC here. Welcome back to my channel. I have been um, into this quadcopter hobby for the last 10 months or so, and I have slowly moved away from toy quad to the more advanced quad, like the racers type, and uh, I haven't really moved into those quads yet because I, I don't understand some of the uh, features and uh, hardware of those quads so I'm still a beginner but I've tried to find information about flight control board especially now that the uh, micro quad has started using the brush version of um, the racer's control board like the CC3D, NES32 and SP Racing uh, flight control board. So I have read a lot of um, information on the internet and um, I've come to a conclusion that the basic concept of flight control board is that they are just like mini computers. An analogy of that is you compare um, Windows software and iOS software or OS software and Android. And the other one that you compare is the hardware. The hardware is like, for example, if you buy PCs, you buy normal PCs that cost maybe a couple of hundred dollars and they run on uh, slow processors and they can't handle some of the new features that you introduce with uh, new operating systems like Windows 10 or more advanced OS of Apple Mac or Android or iOS. So basically CC3D has been around for a long time and it is one of the oldest uh, flight control board and if I'm wrong please do let me know but I know that there are different versions of CC3D flight control board the one that I just mentioned is the basic one. So it has a very slowest processor. And if you go to the middle one, it's NAS32. It has a bigger, a higher processor and higher RAM memory. And whereas the CC3D has lower RAM. And if you go higher up with, with the SP Pro Racing type, the processor is higher and also the RAM is more. So basically as if you know about computers, the higher the processor, the higher the RAM, the better processing you have and you can run newer software. So it's the same with flight control board. If you use a slower hardware and slower processing power and slower memory then the performance will be less than the better processor one so for example if you use Windows Mac or uh, Windows PC if you buy the gaming one then you have a better performance uh, gaming PC so it's the same thing with quad with CC3D, you have the uh, lower processing power, lower memory, and with NES32, you have the middle range, and with SP Pro, because it's newer one, you have higher processor and higher memory. And in between them, um, with different type of boards in the same category, you have different sensors on the board and those sensors are like for example uh, you know let's go to NAS32 you have 
for example air crawl and you have uh, uh, GPS and other and compass sensor that's for altitude hall I think CC3D has the same type of sensors and also SP Pro has the same type of sensors so the higher range you go the better sensors they have so better performance so basically CC3D you have lower processor, lower memory, NAS32 middle range, and SP Pro higher range. As for the software itself, they all use clean flight or better flight. So the software itself is the same, but the software can introduce more features and it can be can only be handled by uh, higher processors and higher um, what you call that memory so if you want um, higher processing power and you say for example you want to run a, a sports car of course you buy a higher processing power and higher memory flight control board and if you just want a normal one you can buy CC3D in within the category itself they have different type of boards as for the brush version they basically use this type of board and then change that so that they can be used with brush models. So in terms of um, the type of flight control boards that you choose for the new type of micro FPV quad, you, they usually give you options of um, CC3D, NAS32 or SP Pro. So it depends on which one you like to choose. If you're comfortable with CC3D, then choose CC3D or NAS32 or SP Pro. It's up to you. But in order for you to understand which one to choose, you must understand basically that SP Pro is the newest one, has higher processing power, and probably give you better performance in your quad. The middle range one, give you a slightly better than the lower range one so um, so this is how I understand flight control board to be so if I'm wrong please let me know in the comments and uh, but I think I'm almost right in what I've just said so I'm giving you this information so that when you look at the specification of different types of uh, flight control board with the options to choose when you when you buy, want to buy those micro quad or you want to build your your own one you 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 know basically what flight control boards are so hope you guys like this information please like and subscribe to my channel so until next time this is JT Gravity RC signing out cheers